Good evening, ladies as well as gentlemen. Peppa Boris here, playing some more Tales from Candlekeep, Tomb of Annihilation. Right now, I could do this mission, but this is actually a really tough boss, and I'm just concerned that um, I won't make it because I haven't really upgraded my armors very much. So what I'd like to do is go back and do some of these earlier scenarios on higher difficulties um, and try to just get more gold and more crafting materials, specifically owlbear freaking leather, to try to get my team up to speed. So let's do some of these that we beat on normal uh, and try to see if we can do them on horrific. I'm going to try, you know, I'm going to try uh, Favor for Jessamine, the starting quest. This is actually a kind of tricky one, even though it's only 300 gold on horrific, which is like less than what you get on quests on normal difficulty by this point. Um, it, it's sort of tricky because collecting these mushrooms is tough. You got to roll or else you take damage and you have to collect more of them on horrific, you know, so it's kind of tough. All right, so the main utility that I want is the paladins to block monsters from spawning. So we're going to do it like this so that when the bard moves, jack of all trades goes onto my paladin. So now these three health monsters aren't as big of a threat as previously. They uh, can be killed by everyone except for the mage, and the mage can actually still try to kill them with chromatic orb. So... Um, I'm feeling pretty confident. I wish this rock wasn't in the way of me shooting at that thing, but such is life. Okay, so we're going to have a little guy here. Chomp, chomp. Oh, chomping at my mage before I get a chance to put my armor on. Okay, let's do Shen State. So that's the one that gets uh, Jack of All trades Heroism. I really don't want to put it on the mage because the mage is going to get those fire shields. So no one's going to get heroism, unfortunately. We're going to go here to explore. And attack this guy. Four damage to the undead. Ooh, seize the moment. Um, hmm. So I could go explore something different. I don't know how valuable that is. I guess we'll go here, explore a little bit farther away. Okay, finally used up Shen State on the first try, so I'll get to reactivate that next time. Mm, don't forget your fire shields, which I have actually miraculously not forgotten a single time in this campaign. Cross your fingers. Oh, I own Stone of Mastery this early on. That's scary. Because I might want to use some utilities. Oh, hey, look, there's the mushrooms. Okay, so that's two out of eight. I'm going to have to find three more of these tiles. And don't forget, it's not a guarantee when you tag one of these mushrooms that you're going to pick it up. In fact, I got it that time. Oh, okay. I thought that that failed for some reason. Okay, cool. So I can't use jump or anything with him because uh, he's going to waste the Ion Stone. There's no monsters on the map, so that does nothing. Now, should the bard go here and get that mushroom? The bard can't go there and get that mushroom. Well, then I guess the answer is no. Uh, do I go over here to be closer to the group, or do I go over here? I'm going to go over here. It's going to be hard for anyone to follow her there. I'm just going to explore next to her and hope that we can loop back in. It's always possible that there will be a dead end. Ah, okay, this is nice. So there's four out of the eight. I just got to make some rolls and not get killed by the events. Oh, don't forget your Shen state. All right, we shan't forget that. <laughs> did you see what I did there? Okay. So Shen state does not trigger because there wasn't a monster there. All right, I'm going to have the bird. Yeah, I'm going to have her go and trigger an event. We have not enough adrenaline to block it, so I'm just hoping it's not too bad. And I'm getting lucky with these rolls. I'm picking up these mushrooms on the first try, every try. Please, nothing bad. Biting insects. So that's two damage to both of these people. Luckily, the other people are far enough away. She's going to die the next time she takes damage, but hopefully, as long as it's not um, spell damage, as long as it's monster damage, she should be able to handle it. All right. And there's nothing there and no monsters. I still need to find two more mushroom tiles. Alright, you... Yeah, you gotta go do this. Alright, well, one thing I cannot complain about are my die rolls, that is for sure. Active hero becomes stunned. How much do I care about this? Uh, not that much. So, I think that I will be able to use Dispel Magic again later, especially if I'm collecting mushrooms, and there's definitely worse things than that. Okay, I cannot explore on the other side over here. So I guess we'll go here because I don't see the point of triggering a trap, especially because she's stunned so she can trigger, she can dodge the trap and explore on that tile. 
Attack and stun the active. That's fine. This will, he'll take some damage if he gets hit. It missed anyway, but he can shrug off the stunning effect, so that's fine. Okay, the mage is looking a little bit peaked. Um, let's go ahead and explore and trust, trust the fire shield, which is still full, by the way. There's two more mushrooms. Okay, so now she and the ranger can collect those, hopefully. And... Ah, there's the first failure. I should have used the cloak, actually. Ooh, that's... I think it's a legendary chest. Oh, my God. I feel temptations. All right, so well, let's go here. Triggered it. Couldn't roll... Couldn't roll a five or higher. I'm gonna just eat, eat drink a potion, whatever. I think when I get down below, like, four, I can really start to worry. There's the other mushrooms. Okay, okay, so we found all the mushrooms. It's just a matter of surviving long enough to collect them. So you are unable to collect at the moment. I'm not going to explore a tile. I don't see the point. I'm just going to stand next to a mushroom and get ready to collect. They're on different tiles, so if anything bad happens on this tile, it won't affect the bard. Hopefully nothing too terrible. Deadfall. Eh, it's not the worst, not the best. Um, obviously taking four damage is worse than having nothing happen, but it's also definitely possible for worse things to have happened. I am going to get this chest, but maybe I should get it later. Why get it now? Like, what's the rush, right? So yeah, we'll just go here and try to collect a mushroom. Oh, taking a damage. Okay, I'm gonna drink a potion. So now I'm starting to fail at my mushroom collecting tasks. Thankfully, nothing happened there. I still can't block any events, unfortunately. Uh, okay, let's uh, collect, please. Thank you, goodness gracious. Um, okay, wait, didn't Artis have an Ion Stone? But what can I have possibly... I didn't use any his... I guess he never had an Iron Stone, because I never used any of his abilities. I'm going to go ahead and explore to stop an event from happening. I'm more afraid of an event than I am of a tile. Oh, look, more mushrooms. How nice. Okay, so I'm glad I did that. Of course, if it had been like a three-monster thing, I would have been really pissed. But since that didn't happen, I feel like a genius. Okay, so we need three more mushrooms. Jesus. Okay, uh, should I explore more? I think it's fine to explore more. We got one. Okay, good. Please don't be anything bad. Nothing bad. Yeah. Dispel strike. Wow, I'm glad I have dispel magic saved. That could have been a total disaster. Okay. So I'm going to prioritize picking up the mushroom over attacking that monster. So I just need one more sample now, and I'm good to go. Let's actually heroism up. Get those two extra hit points on there. And should I explore or eat an event? Hmm. I'm going to explore, because any monsters I find are only going to attack on Dragon Bait's turn. I think that's not as bad of, bad of a problem as eating an event. Oh, man, that's a good chest. Okay. Well, I think it's time to go start going big. I'm going to go here, and I'm going to loot what I believe is a legendary chest. You don't find, like, legendary treasure or anything in this scenario. It's just that at the end of the scenario, you open a legendary chest for crafting materials. Meteor shower. Uh oh, Spaghettios. She's dead. Yeah. Even if it had missed, she still would have died. So that's one healing surge down. Okay. Now, if I get a mushroom with Artis, then I don't get to nab this chest. So how crazily greedy do I want to get? Are there any more mushrooms over here? There's actually no mushrooms over here. I'm gonna just freaking. But see, it's Artis's turn right now. I really. Okay. So if I just pass the turn, then Birdsong can go loot this chest. I cannot tell the difference between the rares and the very rares. She can loot the chest, then Dragon Bait can attack this thing, and then my mage can go try to pick a mushroom, and then Artist can go try to pick a mushroom. I feel pretty good about this. I feel pretty good, so what we're gonna do is use my cloak, and just kind of go over here and explore and dodge a monster's attack if a monster spawns there. Hopefully it's not three monsters. Luckily it's not. It's the first mission. Maybe they don't use the triple monster tiles. So just passing the time, you are going to go here and open the chest. Get 100 gold. Very nice. And we're going to trigger an event here as well. Dark Influence. I don't know if that hits anybody. Oh, it hits her. Okay, cool. 
Well, I'm glad that happened. And then nothing happens here. So my paladin now, I guess, can just attack that. Um, I don't see any point in triggering an event, so I might as well explore. Maybe find another chest. Who knows? I'm actually kind of glad I did not find another chest. I think that would have turned my greed into uncontrollable levels. Right, she uses a healing surge. She flies over. She tries to pick this mushroom. Eh? We got it. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, please like and or subscribe if you did. And uh, if you want to stick around to see me do some stuff, let's do some stuff. So here are the treasures. Okay, so it was a rare, not a very rare, but it was a legendary chest. And then the reward for the scenario was three uncommon chests. Let's see some owlbear leather. Eh? Eh? Nope. Zero. Zero owlbear leather. There's not a single one. Okay, well, that's, that's just lovely. But anyway, we are almost up to 2,000 gold. So maybe after the next scenario, we'll have 2,000 gold. And we'll be able to see if we can maybe craft somebody something. I'll see you guys soon. Take care.